So here we have my brother's old 2002 Subaru WRX Bug Eye. Let's do a little walk around. Let's look at the interior. Interior, apparently he, he says that this is imported from Japan, these seats. Um, not sure about the back seats, but overall the front seats and the back seats, they're in pretty good condition. Um, believe it or not, behind this Momo it says Saab on it, so. The newer keys look better. Got a turbo timer, boost gauge, AFR. I believe there's a short shifter in here. Some other goodies in here that I probably have no idea inside the interior. That's his Cobb access port. Let's look at the engine. Oh yes, she's got a lightweight aluminum bash bar that has this tow hook on here. Aftermarket, headlights, fog lights, hello horns, some fancy covers. This engine's got 191,000 miles on it. Shocker. Some intake work. That, that, that is, my brother's saying that's a TO4, which he got ported and polished. Some aftermarket downpipe. This shit's burnt and old and crusty, so I can't even see the, the name brand on it. But it's a pretty well-known brand. I don't think it's NVIDIA. Lightweight battery. Cusco front strut bar, aluminum radiator, I have no burnt, no idea what brand it is, it's probably like a Koyo Rad. This thing is tuned, not by Cobb Access Port, he actually went to go get it tuned and the O2 sensor disabled so he can pass inspection somehow. It's got Willwood 4 pot caliper brakes in the front. Um, these can actually clear stock 16 inch wheels. STI struts, I believe. That or the top hat. The top hats I know are brand new. What you looking at? You got aftermarket rear sway bar and end link. Whole complete exhaust system completely callous and I believe there are steel braided lines on this one and I believe that the front sway bar is also aftermarket so that's good to hear but yeah this thing's got some goodies to it oh turbo smart blow off valve yeah the issue I'm having with my old end the engine that I have I'm working with is I spoke to the company that does the wiring for it and they said for that engine specifically it will not pass inspection so they can do the harness for me and they can get it running but it will not pass New York State inspection which sucks so and my car is a 99 uh, oil catch can but yeah I mean it's sad to see this car uh, go but I don't have room for it so I might as well just take everything out of here and all the stuff that I need is gonna go into there because this one will pass inspection no problem the other engine not so much yes let's look at the trunk
And I took off the mud flaps because my friend already wanted them. Some roof racks. And I believe that's also a Cusco rear strut bar. Everything looks pretty good. And just to show you the mileage, I did say it was 191,000 miles on it. Right there. Not sure if you can see that. 191980. The only recent service this thing's really had was a stage 3 competition clutch and a new timing belt. I think the only thing this thing's going to really need is a valve cover gasket. That's about it. Not bad for that many miles. Usually you'll find these things high mileage, but still. I'm still impressed with it. And I think this... Yeah. My brother's in the fire department, so he needs these lights. Pretty cool. So yeah, that's just an update on what's been going on with the Impreza. And I'll get to working on the car soon. I just got to pull parts off of this and then prep it. And then I should be on the road. Thanks for watching.